Champs and giggles, history, news, views, and reviews from a black perspective. Champs and giggles back for 2024. Oh, oh my lord! So we're back after those months. Just absolutely phenomenal week again. Phenomenal month. It is Black History Month we've, we've had, and you know, last week. Um, we got the news about uh, um, our young brother here, um, Chris Shabba. As you know, he had been um, shot dead by uh, police in what was, at the time, um, a, a horrific turn of events. Uh, we, 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 we couldn't believe it. The, the, the police had cornered him. Um, he was blocked in. And from what we saw, um, there was no real, I mean, come out with your hands up, you'd think they shot a single bullet into the car. And and, and the young man um, um, sadly lost his life at that very moment. It, this was about two years ago. I think it was about, yeah, two years ago. Uh, in September of 2022, uh, it was an armed vehicle stop in Streatham. Okay. So, um, and of course, you know, the picture here we see um, young man doing well for himself and so on and so forth. Uh, it's been brought out again. Now, of course, Shams and Giggles, we have followed the story. Remember the marches that took place, I think it was just before the summer. Um, so uh, I think the family has been very vocal. They didn't want people to forget about what happened. Good Lord, I mean... Oh, it is just horrific, really, to a loss of life. It just really, really is. Um, and anyway, here's the news. The uh, Mr. Blake, who was the armed officer, cleared of murder uh, by the jury at the Old Bailey. Um, and it, it just, that's where it stands, you know? Um, um, is what it is. And of course, the family have been outspoken, to say the least. I think a demonstration is being uh, suggested for tomorrow. Oh, you're, you're, you're on mute, Keith. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Um, it's, it's suggested for tomorrow, right? Um, there was one that happened just the other day. Oh, there was one? Um, yeah, there was one that happened the other day, and that was outside of the Old Bailey itself. Um it right, was quite quite well turned out. It was okay. I thought that was for the weekend. I saw the uh, WhatsApp video that was going around. Mm. Um, but so that happened already. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but the thing is, the family feels that, of course, you know, you can't just shoot a man like that. I mean, um, you, you know, you can't just shoot a man like that. Um, uh, in, in cold, but he, 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 he didn't stand the, you know what I mean, he didn't stand the chance. Uh, there was so much to be said, but of course, here we are, Shams and Giggles talking to things. What are the considerations of 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 our uh, of our community here? Um, here is, let me just show. This is the turnout here outside the Old Bailey, uh, and the Old Bailey, I believe, is in Bow Road, East London. Uh, no, no, the old um the old Bailey is in um is in the city. It's, 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 the, okay. it's the old Bailey in the city, the the, the criminal courts, the, the yeah. main top one where um a lot of the top <laughs> criminals go for hard sentencing. Um mm. and that is um in the city, yeah. Fen uh, yeah. Well a lot was to be said, and as you can see, the turnout has been uh uh well, there has been one. How do you how do you press play on this thing? Yeah. I mean, you can't even push the button here. There you go. The death penalty in this country, so it would never be okay. The death penalty. In the courtroom, mother, father, brothers, fiance, cousin, watching hours and hours and hours on repeat of thing that looks like justice. And let us remember that it is what they were made to do. And to give you some context, since 1990, over 1,900 people have been killed in police custody or following police contact. 
concluded that the police are still racist. After decades here, they're actually saying, you know what, it's one of us, of all those who have been harmed by them, in the form of being killed specifically. Okay, so the police are there. We want to talk about the future. Wow. So there you have it. They were uh, outside the old Bailey. So that, if that was a couple of days ago, so that was likely at the beginning of the week, I'm assuming, Keith, yeah? Yep. Um, yeah, I can just let you know, that was when the verdict of a not guilty for him cleared of wrongdoing. They asked for a demonstration that following day, I believe it was. So that demonstration was when it was announced that he... Um, not guilty verdict. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, and so there's been a follow-up to this. Um, and um, it's just um, a sad, I don't know, is, is, is it a sad day in, 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 in history? I mean, and this happening on Black History Month, it could have happened any other month of the year, to be fair, but it seemed like this was booked in for Black History Month. I mean, what do I go on? Alicia, your hands up, Dr. James. Um, I've, done, I've watched a few reports and looked at videos in relation to this, the shooting of Chris Cabba. Um, One of the things that they never did, never, uh, during the lead up to the, um, the case, um, the court case, um, they didn't mention, or the police, and the, uh, nobody mentioned that he was, Chris Cabell was part of a gang or that he had shot. Prejudice, though. Wait a moment. Wait, I haven't finished. I haven't finished yet. Mm -hmm. Nobody mentioned that he was, um, that he shot somebody in a club. Um, my only problem that I have with this is that they didn't know that he, he was in the car when, they were, when he was driving the car. But they shot somebody who didn't know who was in the car. I it, would, would you, I, I understand your point of view that they shot well, someone. I'm not, they, what I'm trying to say is this. Well, it about, was confirmed um, that it was the specific person, perhaps, if that's what you mean. No, no, what I'm trying to say is that I'm not going to make him a martyr because mm. he's not a martyr and he's not, you know, I, I think that there was a lot of things that was hidden before the, um, the, the case, but I suppose... The case wasn't about his background. The case was about whether or not he should have was, should have been shot in the car. Whether or not he should have been shot dead um, in the car. That's the that is the the, the 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 question. And my thing is, is that should you be shot in? They, they're chasing the car, so they're saying that the car um, was seen. At, at what the car was identified in another incident. And they were following this car and chasing him. It's, this happens to be Chris Cabra in a car. And Chris Cabra tried to, you know, escape, as in drive through there the cars and was blocked, obviously. And then the police opened fire. One of the police officers opened fire and shot to kill him. The thing is, for me, is that he didn't know that it was him or who they were. If he was armed, why would they shoot him? Why would you shoot somebody in the car? Well, that's okay. That's a why would you just shoot somebody in the car? So the intelligence that the police officers had may have been different. I mean, at the time when it happened, certainly we didn't know any background history. I don't know if the police officers who were sent out to this vehicle to apprehend the vehicle or whatever, the vehicle, if they had background information on, well, they would have had background information on the vehicle and potentially the drive. I don't know what the, what that what that did look like. Keith, your hand is up. Part of the team. Yeah, um, Chris Cover's case complex in <laughs> complex is the word. Um, it one reason I I totally agree is with the police or the public not knowing. Chris Cubber's background, because if they knew his background while conducting this trial, yes, it would have definitely been prejudiced. So there is no way on earth the police or any lawyers, because the lawyers would have known his background, 
um, mm. they will not have published his details whatsoever. Mm. They will not have. Um, criminal background doesn't come out until after the jury has summed up their um, their judgment, mm. not guilty or guilty. If it's guilty, then once they've given that verdict, then the judge will read out the criminal offences that he had. But because he's already been um, given guilty or not guilty, they will read it out. And the reason why they they did it, when they did it, that he was a prominent, this is prominent, and hence why last week when I meant, when we were discussing Chris Cubber before, we didn't have the full facts. And mm. I said that it's very strange that someone who is innocent mm -hmm. would not stop when you've got police cars with blue lights flashing and chasing you down. Uh -huh. Most people, say that, like myself, did. I'm just saying me personally, when I see blue lights coming from 10 yards, 20 feet away, 40 feet away from me, coming down the road, I automatically stop and pull over. Yeah? If mm -hmm. the blue lights are behind you, you put your brakes on. What what on earth reason, your mental reasoning, would you feel that you've got a blockade in front, blockade behind you, cars on either side, you parked up. Where do you think you're going? By well, going backwards and forward, backwards and forward. Right, it didn't make no sense. Let, let me just pause you there because we're going to bring up that footage. Go ahead. Um, and so we can see the moment that the police... Um, well, they had him cornered, to be fair. Yes. Um, but let's have a look. Um, but again, uh, our radio listeners, shamsandgiggles.co.uk is a website. Uh, Shams and Giggles is on YouTube. You can find this conversation on YouTube, um, as of, I say, Monday or something. But let's have a look. And, yeah, warning, distressing. Oh, conflict. God, God. Oh, Right now, now hold on, wait, wait. Now, right there, right there. Do you see that moment there? They pulled up to the car because somebody was saying, you, you hear a lot of mixed messages. The camera's not lying. They pulled up to the car. They said, armed police. He's got his hand on the steering wheel. And you can see him driving away. Did, did, um, did I, am I the only one who saw that? Or did anyone else see that? Make sure your hand is up. Drive away. He did. He, he did drive away. Yes, he did. That's completely opposite to what Keith was just saying. If the police are behind you, right, what? you're going to pull over, stop, la, la, la. I mean, what are you what, driving for? What he's saying is, is that, listen, Chris Cabo, he was chased by the police. Like, look, like we said, if we, we're driving and police are coming, you're not thinking it's for you, you know, you're thinking they're going to pass by. Yeah, correct. But, I just come from I just come from um, driving around today, being out and about today, and police will have their sirens on. I'm putting to the side so that they can go past me because I'm thinking they got to get somewhere. Yeah, you you are driving recklessly through the streets of London in Streatham. We know the very narrow streets in Streatham. Okay, you're endangering other people because you're racing after them. These police cars are after you as well. And then when the police come to your window because you're barricaded in, mm -hmm. you um you you they they say armed police and then you move forward. Where are you moving to? You can't move nowhere because you're barricaded in. Now I'm not, now, I'm not saying that he should be he should have been shot in the head. I'm saying that we we need to look at all the, everything that's out there I think for you're us. You caused say, the situation. It, no, the thing is, is that sometimes we've got to listen to the full story and we can't, I don't want to, mar I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow us to, uh, to, to martyr him. He's not to be martyred. No, I'm not Wait, martyring him. I don't him. even know why the word martyr came up. It's not no. no, but it is, that is, that is elements of what you're, what some people are saying is, oh my God, why did they, why did they shoot him? He was good. The parents knew, the mum knew he was a, he, he was a, he was a, a, a criminal. Gangster. He knew he was a gangster. They knew he, what, what he was doing. People knew what he was doing. It was all kept quiet up until now. Yeah, well, well, but well, it might have been the unknown. See, I think there's two sides to this story. Let people know. come in first. Let all, the time the community, all the time the community was supportive of him yes. 
and the mother. No point did the mother say or anybody say, you know what, my son was part of a a a um a, a great gang. He, top he, man, top man, he, top boy. The thing about it is, the thing about it is, again, as was brought out and Keith said it, if that had come out before with regard to the case, it would have prejudiced the jurors, everyone would have been prejudiced, you didn't just throw the book at him, not even giving him a chance. Yeah. He's been given every opportunity here in a reasonable, as reasonable as can be, manner. So the but case was not prejudiced. But what I'm trying to say is, is that what it did, it created like a martyrdom. It made him on the same level as um, Stephen Lawrence, almost. Mm -hmm. Because Stephen... Yeah, well, but the coming out now. That's, a, that's what's going on. People thought, oh my God, it's coming out now. Almost let's, like just, Lawrence. let's just bring in Pinky. Let's just bring in right. Pinky. Let's just bring in Pinky. Because the first thing I showed was the picture we saw originally when all of this had kicked off many years ago. Yeah. That young man smiling face smiling, the rest yeah. of it is um you know false could have been a stephen lawrence la 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 but mm -hmm. of course we heard the background of stephen lawrence and then we was like bloody hell it, it got worse like how could they have done this la 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 now we're hearing the background of chris cover are we of the same opinion vis the stephen lawrence Pinky, your hand is up. Not the thing. Um, we certainly yeah. can't put him on the same level as Stephen Lawrence, but let's just put that to one side. Don't even mention okay. Stephen Lawrence within that. I think it's a bit of a. Right, talk a little bit louder. You're, you're yeah, I said bit... don't even mention Stephen Lawrence within That's that right. because um, it's two different levels. Right. Number one, we, yeah, we were not aware of his background and his character. However, the fact still remains, okay. And the law states that until proven guilty, okay? So he was, you know, it could be, you know, said that he found himself in a situation or, you know, in muddy waters, I would say. And it was the police, as they say, it was a suspect of the car that he was driving. So he must have been running from something, uh, um, you know, and you can see there in the video, which I hadn't seen that before, where, you know, they've told you I'm armed police. Now, that is, there is a split moment between that, what we call the flight, and a mode of, like, a response of, am I going to get killed? <laughs> you know, do I flight or do I, you know, because he did actually look like he had put his hands to his head. But, you know, you're putting your hands to your head. I don't know, your car, I, I mean, at that point, was his car, his car wasn't in motion, it was stationary. And then your hat, your legs, well, somehow your legs crash into the the car in front, which I don't know. Yeah, that does make me think, mm, you know. know it, I haven't seen the video. I think we may as well play the whole video. Yeah, because, yeah. Uh, so I hadn't seen that, but I heard it happen. Yeah, it's like, you know, is there, could they have fired at the wheels or the thing? Well, we always say that. So we you, the, he, and, well, this is what I'm saying. So we're saying about something that is a controlled... Um, let, let's play the whole video and we'll come back. Let's play the whole video. Hmm. Um, let me remember to share the screen so everybody can see it. Warning, distressing content. Uh, but let's have a look. You see? Right. 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 At this point, he was he shot. That's the he point of where he was shot. So we know so what he was doing. You can see the smoke. That's fire burning. He was trying to force his way through the blockade that was there. And of course, here, they have a picture of it. Look. There it is. He's trying to force himself through this blockade that the police had, had created. Reverses to come back forward again. He's not allowing them to stop him. Yeah, he yeah. could have you still they could have still fired he, at those. They could have blown out the tires. No, They're but trying. he's not allowing them to stop him. He's creating yeah, no, yeah, but what we're saying is there was there's a there's a reaction there for the even for the officer. 
Now, the officer could have still blown out those tyres. Those tyres, that, that front on... They, would, I said that, actually. Stand. They could have blown out the tyres. Yeah, they could have blown out. If they blow, but it's blow like that the tires, split moment. Person, it's the person, split yeah. moment. Yeah. And as we say, sod's law, because when you think... I mean, I can't look... Because I've looked at other things, e.g. Um, the nightclub that they're... They've, um, oh, we've got that. We've got yeah, that. They, so... Now, you can't tell whether that is Chris Cabot or you not. You can. Who's you can. It's can? gone in on it. He's Night in there. Club. We're oh. just at the crowd, the corner wherever it was in, in Stra Nightclubs oh, well. now, by law, that it seems, they have to have cameras in there. Oh, right. Oh, the well. The camera well. catches you when you walk in the door, when you change your car, your car, take off your car or whatever, whatever, and everywhere thereafter. So it has your image. Right. So they right. can trace so that. They could see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that for some reason. There's a the time when he put the hood on his head. Okay. They, they can track all that. Plus, the cameras look close up and they catch your eye. They can yeah, yeah, yeah. see you. They would have taken pictures from outside still. They can see you. Yeah. Who's thinking okay. they cannot see them? Okay. Who's thinking that? They've got okay. your body posture, how you move. It's the computer that's picking all this up. So at it's the end of the so then at the end of the day, then when you really look back at it, it's what we would call sods Laura. No, it's not sods. You know I mean, you're not well. Yeah, in in that he got shot. Yeah, it is. It is sods Laura. It is sods Laura. information. Let's look at a little bit more information because we don't want to get it twisted. We know none of this when. It first occurred and the police shot no, him. And that's him. right. Now, given there's more information. So they're saying that that man directly is, is Chris, Chris Cabot. Cabot. A hood on his head, mask on his face. Mm -hmm. it, and they've got the arrows pointing them out. So this video footage is not just this many seconds long. This video is when they came into the club, where they was hanging around, who they were with, it's got the whole thing. It's on camera. It takes hours upon hours upon hours upon hours upon hours to go through all this footage to get to the point of the there he is. Look, that's what he's done. So as I'm looking at this footage, let's have a look. I, I don't even see when he, he shoots the guy in the leg, apparently. He shoots him. Look, there he comes there. Yeah, in both legs. Right, look. I don't know if his hand has gone through, shoots a man, he shot him. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, my man's moving. You can't yeah. make the stuff up. Hold on, look. You cannot make the stuff up. There's no commotion, you know. He shot him in the club, loud music playing, everything I've won. Nobody and knows. You call the people inside the club. This is no where they don't care. Look how it looks. Look, look where the gun is. Yeah, well, then you see, he shot, he shot a man, and then look. The, the man who shot him didn't know that he, that was him in the car, is it? And didn't know that he was connected didn't, didn't to Didn't know, that. but I mean, well, here's what we do know. Here is in a club, in a club, bare people. In a club, yeah. You come up, so you're dancing with la 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 la. Bang. And he shot him. Let's just see what else happened. Let me see. Look. And then he walks away. This guy's hobbling off. He's been shot. Mm -hmm. Now, people obviously. Wim gone. Wim gone. Wim gone. Oh, there the guy is. that's been shot. Uh -huh. I don't know what's going on. That must be his brethren or somebody behind him. And look, Cabba there. Cabba is not, he's not mm -hmm. flipping. Just mm -hmm. call a car. Look. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Job done. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now they're outside. Here's my man walking away. Must be good. I don't know what he's going to do because he's been shot. I don't know where he's been shot. And there we go. Look. Mm -hmm. there Wait, that's Cabo running, running after him now again. Yeah, with gun in hand. Wow. Right now, you could say, how come he's in a black outfit there and a white outfit in here? Come on now. This is, uh, what do you call it? Night, night vision. That's how they can yeah. see dark. Yeah. That's why everybody appears that. You know, I mean, come on. The, the long and the short of it is this this is not this is just not a good look. Smiley, your hand is up, part the things. Yeah, well, I don't know how long I got, but boy, listen, this Chris Cover, I know the radio listeners, you know all the story, you've seen it, you heard it. But yeah, there's no way he's a martyr. Um nah. family knew what he was into. They knew mm -hmm. they wanted the information about his gangster um level. Silence. They didn't want that coming out after the court case. They 
they didn't want it to come out whatsoever. But the judge and um, the judge allowed it to come out. Reason why? Because they knew that most black people in this country would have got annoyed and caused a riot. And yeah. because they're saying that an, a, a, a police officer shot a black man, yeah. an innocent, innocent black, black man, yeah. innocent yeah. black man in the head. Yeah. Right. right. So that's why they wanted to quail the mm -hmm. riots. Can you imagine mm -hmm. if they didn't let this information, information out, out. now? Correct. Right. What true. would have happened across the UK? Very true. Very true. Like, we God, would be supporting him. Yeah, we would be supporting that's somebody right. so that's who why. is a gangster yeah. and a menace to. I don't think you, think you got to put your, put your hand yeah, up. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I agree that the police did the, the the judge did the absolute right thing to do, and I I was always under the impression it's got to be another side to the story. I was absolutely shocked to know that he was the smiling face that we saw in the news with him looking very calm and, and innocent looking in a blue t-shirt. Yeah, that that image looks of an innocent, gentle person. Yeah? yeah? Not to know that he is the pinnacle top, top leader of the gang. Yeah? The top leader and been to prison before with firearm offences and all sorts and been um, charged and he was on charge in for this person that he shot in the club, then runs out in the street to shoot him. So that just shows you um, Chris Cubber's mentality when it comes to, he doesn't care where you are, mm. I will pull out my gun. As the leader of a, of, a, of a gang, I will deal with the matter, no matter where yeah. you are. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Consequences yeah. ain't happening. So for what some people were saying about why didn't he just stop, he had no intention of stopping, no wow. intention of stopping that car, okay? And when they said stop, 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 or armed police against his window, they shone the torch in his side glass. Yeah. He saw the torch. So for him to block that shine away from his face, he's put his hand up. But what? driven what? away as well. Huh? Yes, he's that's right. Hand. Because he didn't want to see the torch light too bright in his eyes, he's put his hand up. And with the one hand on the steering wheel, he's accelerated to try and burst through the car. But there was a stationary car, so he had no chance getting through. No chance whatsoever. And on top of that, when they searched his car, what did they find? Balakava and a glove with, with, with ammunition or gunpowder residue on it, which would link him to the the, the the incident that happened in the club. So he, Chris Cubber is not f afraid of gun guns at all. Yeah. And this is what Shams and Giggles is about. We talk the things and we look into certain things and it's our opinion. But now the hurtful thing is now, which I think is totally disgusting, is that now um, the, the, the officer Blake who took the shot now his kids are involved and his family are involved now because now they've got a ten thousand pounds bounty. That's just talk, listen, isn't it? listen, it, listen. No, no, sorry. Listen, if you've got a leader of a gang, what do you think they're doing around the world? You kill a leader, somebody will take that place okay, and they well, will let's, to go. Let's watch this space. Let's watch this space. Um, uh, but I think the officer, I think. Given the information that's out there, they're talking about justice for Cabo. What about justice for the people that Cabo has killed? Because we don't know about them, do we? We don't know. He was on trial for attempted murder. Yeah. Three of the people that he were, were involved in that got sentenced. Yeah. But he would have been the fourth. So, assumably, he would have been the sentence as well. Yes. They were, they were after him for sentencing. That's right. But he decided to, 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 to try and ram through the police. If he right. if he didn't get killed, he would have been in 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 court now. Well, because they knew it was him. He would have been in court, charged with he, attempted murder. Yeah, you know, can I can also mention as one well, I did send Art Jason to look at it. Um, Metro newspaper has listed his life um and um just a timeline of his life 
One of the things that happened in April 2022 is served with domestic violence order, protection order. It says Cabal was a, a, a expectant father when he when he died. However, he had been served with a 28-day domestic violence protection order related to the mother of his unborn child. Mm. He's, he's been in prison before. Uh, he was stabbed in a music event. Fence. He was charged with imitation farm position. He was nominated for a mobile award. He, he was he was convicted of gang motivated knife attack. Um, he was convicted of stealing a phone shop. He was convicted of wounding with intent. Um, so he's he, you know so it, I mean, it, well. The thing is, is that as as the black community do, we we support each other, but sometimes I think that it, it, I feel that the the parents were quite manipulative in knowing that they, they, their child has gone through all of that and been doing all of that and never said a word. Well, they would because the, the office, yes. the, their lawyer would have. I think there was a gagging order. No, uh, no, it's not about gagging order. The parents could have just said, "We just, look, we just want to keep it quiet, please," because our son is being a bit. Like we know what our son is like, but everybody's yeah. like, oh, God, why is they? They, they it doesn't shot. mean he should have been shot though. That's that would have been the argument. They knew who Chris shot. Cover was. It was his car. They knew his face in that car. They yeah. knew what he could do. So, so there were not going to take any risks in place during the trial about details of Mr. Cover's background. So that would have been the lawyer who said we can't have that out. That information is back because it prejudiced the case. Correct. Is, the family knew, but of course, if your lawyer representing you says, "Look, we can't have that information brought out because it prejudices the case," as a family, you're going to say, "Well, okay, lawyer, you know what's best. We won't say anything." And so they didn't. They didn't. There's a lot of things they didn't say, and a lot of things they didn't want to say because of what they they knew he, what he was doing. Yeah. I don't what's think the family well, knew. I, the but extent like, to which Chris Cabo has been involved in crime. the underworld crime syndicate. But what's happened now is that the family of the, the police officer who shot him, the family are now have to go and hide in because there's yes. a on their heads. That's That's they're gonna they're gonna be upbraided in life. That's what's gonna happen. Oh and of course goodness. they could it's, to it's prevent not, repercussions yeah. and so on, oh reasonably so. They're gonna be moved, protected, and so on. But this incident with, 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 with Chris Cabo, we're going to go, but him and what's happened to him, really, I mean, the, the old saying, you take the sword, you die by the sword, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, I will say that's what's happened here. Here's a man that lived by gun and gun yeah. take him out. I mean, you know, it, it doesn't go much further than that for me. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a horrible, it's a complex case, but really and truly... I feel for the family, I don't think the family had any idea the extent, I think they're probably mortified seeing him running after somebody with a gun. Yeah. His mother be like, I'm sure she's, I'm sure they wouldn't have known. Mortified, like, what the hell is this child doing? They just don't know. And, and you know, these, these people, they live in your house and they tell you a story, they're doing this, that and the other, and not, not go, so they're, they're on the street doing all kind of madness. They're not telling the truth that, oh, I run a drug racket and this, and we shoot people and we stab people. They're not going to come home and tell the family that. No, they come for Sunday dinner, sit down, yeah, yeah, everything good. He's got a Rolex. Yeah, the music business is doing great. Oh. And everybody thinks, yeah, boy, he's, he's and he got awarded for mobile. So you're thinking, yeah, he's on the music scene. He's doing wonderful. You're not thinking this is what he's doing. His family's mortified, like, whoa. His background, this is more than his background like it was on record, youth offenders and all the rest of it. No, this is I don't think up so. in the club. I think the, the, I, I don't think so. I think the the the, the um they would have done a big investigation in his, in his background, the the solicitors, his his parents' solicitors, and they would have known about his background and they would have prepared the parents. But I don't think they would have known about this particular footage. That would have shocked them because they would have been prepared. They know what they, the, the, the solicitor would have sat and go, your son, you know your son's been in prison. Of course, darling, because we visited him mm. at a better time. And the girlfriend would have said, yes, he attacked me when I when I was a baby, uh, um, carrying his child, and it's the reason why I had to get protection or, an order against him, 28-day protection order. So they were all aware of this. This isn't something that they just oh, found out in the news last night. It's what we found out. Huh? Last 
that is what we have found out last what week. we found out last week. All of this has been held back. There was a gagging order. It's all been held back. So how much the family knew a little bit? They didn't know all the ins and outs. Oh, I think they knew a lot more than what we we presumed. Yeah, I agree. Because yeah. they're the ones that I, said I, they don't want the information out. I I they knew more. So you would know. Like, you would know. Yeah. You wouldn't, you would. I uh, trust me, you wouldn't. Oh, no, you wouldn't would know. know. You would not know. It's the first person is calling mum because mum, you know what? Can you send me some money? Mum, oh my God, you know. Back in prison again? Back in yeah. prison again. Where's my son? Yeah, he should, he would have oh, he's been in prison oh. for whatever, whatever, but. This world, he was on an attempted murder, and obviously, I'm sure, as he would have been, no, nah, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. It was oh. my brain dream, it was my brain dream. It wasn't me, no, no, I was nowhere near it. Da, 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 da. Said that. No, no, yeah, no. That's what they'll do, they'll tell you it's not me. Mm, Even if, until probably you go to oh, the yeah. evidence, maybe then you realize that bloody hell, you was involved in that. You was involved in that. Yeah, 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 but that that's not the way it went down. That's not the way it went down. It was this, it was that, it was the other. Denial to the end, I tell you. To the end. I cannot believe that his parents, they knew that. And they're there on the doorstep protesting. What's the protest? There's no protest. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wants him on street. Nobody wants that on street. When you see that man chasing that man with gun? Oh. You don't, because you, then what does it make remind you of? The, the little boy in Labrador Grove who got 15 years old got shot in the park. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Who, the who, who's the kind of people that's shooting him? No, no, no this one, yeah. Yeah. We figured the girl in with her three-year-old in carnival mm. stabbed. No yeah. reason. Died. Yeah. No reason. Who's mm. the kind of people that's doing that? Yeah. It, it begs belief. We've had the conversation on here, by the way, haven't we? If you've caught them on camera, so you know it's them. Mm. Hang them. Hang them, bro. They said, but they don't do that in this country. We don't hang Cor people. Corporal punishment is not for. <laughs> <laughs> not, I mean, yeah, not anymore. But not here, anymore. it's just the the, the visuals. There's like, what? Oh, yeah. They've got they've got the evidence that portrays. If the police officers had that in mind when they were taking down or chasing down the vehicle, they were in fear for their lives because they don't know if there's a gun in there. Correct. But they know that this car is related to gun incidents. So therefore. When they're approaching this car, listen, they, they, they're, they're ready. They're, mm -hmm. You're not listening. Listen, you, you're not listening. I'm not taking the risk. I'm not no. begging you. You're not listening. It's over because it, it could be me. You yeah. could not be listening. Well, and a just car is a me. weapon, isn't it? A car is a weapon. A car's so a weapon, but if you had a weapon in there, yeah, he's probably exactly. you're not listening. As you said, you're probably you're not listening. Stop armed police and a gun is pointing at you mm. and you're driving away to nowhere yeah well listen ladies and gents this is what we do <laughs> chance and giggles as our ceo say we talk the things and yeah and we've got another another one to bring to your <laughs> oh, another one to bring to your uh, enlightenment. This is a very, 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 very sad day in London where this youth has had so much people vouching for him, ready to go out and protest for him. And he's shown up blank. No, no, nobody's protesting for that behavior. You got his comeuppance, mate. You got it. That's what it was. You got your comeuppance. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, Boy, I just feel it for the family because yeah. I'm sure they didn't yeah. know. And of course, you lose a loved one, it's going to it hit you deep in the heart. Of course it does. Yeah. Of course, like they're out there crying and complaining all the rest of it. Yes, absolutely. You wouldn't. But boy, that, that you there. Mm -hmm. Boy, there's a lot to be said. Um, My mouse has dropped there. Let's have a look, by the way, uh, another topic, and we're not even going to have the time to do it justice, is... Uh, the series that is currently, I, I don't know if it's finished, but it, or you can watch it on BBC iPlayer, so you can binge yeah. watch it. That seems to be the thing that people do most these days. Um, it's the show called Mr. Loverman. Mm -hmm. Well, Lord of his mercy. Um, <laughs> so, uh, it's quite interesting. One second. Um, I don't know. Because that Chris Cubber, we want what we, we would want to have that as a segment of its own. 
should I stop the recording and restart the recording? So we've got a segment for YouTube on yeah. Chris Cabot shooting. And then we'll have a segment on the Miss Lovman. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. So, so recording. Definitely. Stop the recording. Yeah.